Now in this video we look at the uh, concept of an actual vapor compression cycle and also some effects that we can you know uh, control and see how the COP varies for this cycle okay so first of all let's look at this effect that we can have so then this effect what we are doing is this black colored cycle that we have shown is the ideal one okay now this blue colored line what we are doing is this P1 this is the evaporator pressure if we drop the evaporator pressure from P1 to P1 dash so this enthalpy this pressure drop is now from P2 to P1 dash okay so this much extra drop in pressure is there now what you know what this drop in pressure brings about is that this shifts this comp uh, this compressor entry point from 1 to 1 dash okay and you will now be compressing from 1 dash to 2 dash instead from 1 to 2 okay so now if you compare the refrigeration effect for these two things initially the refrigeration effect was this much let us say this is r1 now with a different uh, you can say evaporator pressure the refrigeration effect has also changed in fact it has gone down so this is the refrigeration effect after changing it so this much drop this much drop is there in the refrigeration effect and also if you look at the work input okay so this was the work input initially and now if you look at the work input it has increased drastically okay so so if you look at this and you drop the evaporator pressure from p1 to p1 dash what is happening is your cooling effect is reducing it is going down less cooling is being done but the work input has increased so this kind of a you can say effect reduces the cop so we do not want to decrease the evaporator pressure okay the second effect you can have is to increase the condenser pressure so this is the initial condenser pressure which is p2 okay so the refrigeration effect that you have at p2 is this okay and the work done is this much or the work input okay now if you increase the pressure of condenser from p2 to p2 dash what have we done we have shifted this point 3 to 3 dash towards that side so this shifts point 4 to 4 dash so now your new refrigeration effect is only this much which has gone down and also you have increased your work input so again like you had in the decrease of evaporator pressure the same effect is produced in the in increasing the compressor uh, the uh, the condenser pressure that is the cop would reduce and we again don't want such an effect to take place that is it is reducing the refrigeration effect and it is increasing the work input as compared to what you are having in the initial condenser pressure okay now let's go to the third effect in the third effect what we are doing is we are increasing the superheat at the inlet of the compressor so so initially your vapor were entering the compressor at state 1 which was saturated but now the uh, you know the, the superheat has been increased so as the specific volume also has gone up okay so with the specific volume going high from v1 to v1 dash okay the amount of work done will increase because now it will have to handle more specific volume of the vapor as compared to the earlier state so if you are handling more volume of vapor this means you will have to compress more 
so the energy requirement would go up okay so the so for the same amount of a refrigeration effect the work input increases so this also reduces the cop and so it is not a very good thing to have that is it is not recommended to increase the superheat of the uh, you can say vapor at the inlet of the compressor now let's come to the last effect the last effect is we are subcooling the condensate liquid from saturated liquid to a subcooled liquid that is from 3 to 3 dash in doing so what we have done is we have shifted this point 4 also towards the left side what this brings about it brings about an increase in the refrigeration effect so this much increase is there so for the same amount of work input for the same amount of work input your refrigeration effect increases this indicates that your COP is going up so yes this is a desirable effect or well, this is a desi desirable change uh, we can do in this cycle to increase the COP that is to undercool the condenser or the condensate liquid okay so I hope you understood these four effects and how we you know vary these things to vary the COP and also the actualities that are present in the paper compression cycle so now after having a look at the theoretical concepts of the vapor compression cycle now let's move on to the numerical portion and do some numericals on the vapor compression cycle